And good morning on this uh, Friday morning. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota Twin City Subaru and 802 Honda, all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. We're looking at some smoke, and these are some of the reporting stations. You can see this sort of thin layer here. This is the flow coming over the top of this ridge of higher pressure. Incidentally, the same ridge of higher pressure that's been producing uh, sort of exacerbating uh, fire prone conditions, very dry, drought like conditions here in British Columbia, parts of Alberta. So, I'm going to stop it here and show you some of the latest reports. First of all, we're going to start uh, with uh, Lathbridge, Canada. Uh, you can see the uh, surface observation there showing smoke. Visibilities have been a little bit reduced, two and a half miles. Another report here, Medicine Hat, Alberta, uh, back up to Calgary. Uh, smoke. Smoke is uh, being reported at Red Deer. And then, of course, up course into Edmonton, further upstream, White Court, Grand Prairie, Peace River, uh, Fort St. John, looks like, uh, don't know how to say that, Chetwind, I guess. And then way up here, Fort Nelson, a lot of smoke. So where is this smoke going this morning? Well, it's kind of split in two different segments, but uh, this is the mainstream, and that's the source region, of course, and it's... Moved through Vermont, one heck of a patch, and even Burlington International Airport Observer is including that, as I'm going to show you here, uh, the uh, observation, the smoke layer aloft at about uh, 12,000 feet above our heads, and it's a pretty good patch of smoke. So as you can see here, this smoke layer is all the way uh, across uh, the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, New York, Pennsylvania, just getting into the New York City area. And, of course, some of the heaviest patches have moved through Vermont, now across New Hampshire, and then pushing through Maine currently. Slightly lesser amounts of smoke off to the west of us here in the later pictures. And it's this area right around here that we're looking at that will actually have uh, a little bit of a break in the action. This should be arriving, uh, looks like, late in the day tonight. So we'll see just a little bit less of the smoke. But look at that smoke layer right there. That is uh, tremendous. That's really thick right here across parts of Chicago and so forth. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.